Hello everyone, good evening. This is Farhan Khan, your learning partner. Hope you all are doing good. So today we'll try to understand how we can create an app where we can perform CRUD operation like create, update, read or delete a record from Power Apps and which will be reflecting in your data source as well. So let's check it out in action and simultaneously you'll also see some of the features which are available in edit forms. So let's create an app and see how we can do it. I'll select an app, create app, I'll name it as Crowd app, maybe. Okay. Create. And in the background, meanwhile, it is getting ready. I would like to show you that list which I've already created for it. We have a title, first name, last name, courses, training, and trial tenant is available or not, and the company name. I'll be taking this uh, list as a registration details for the user, from the user. Let's see how we can do that. First of all, I'll do one thing. I'll just create a label for this. Drag it to the bottom. I'll name it as CRUD Operation App. I'll increase the size of it. Center align. I'll change the color of it as well. And now I'll change font color to white so that it is visible properly let's try to you know create another label on which we can remove this text and i'll make it like this so that it gives you the feeling that there is some break line break in between or in this label i'll try to add a form an edit form so i what i want is this forms which should be one for, uh, what do you say uh 50 percent of the entire uh, screen what I'll do for this, I'll go to the width property of it. I'll name it screen one dot width divided by two. So it will be exactly 50% of the entire screen. I'll change the name of it, FRM registration. Now what I need to do is I need to add a data source to it which is our SharePoint list, which we have already created. I'll go to the data source. There's no data source as such. I'll try to search for SharePoint. Scroll down a bit, you'll find SharePoint. Select your connection. Choose your site. In case if you don't have this site in the recent site, what you have to do is you have to copy this and paste it over here and then connect. Training registration, that's the list of your, uh, that we'll be using in the app. Let it get loaded first. So now if you see over here, we have everything ready. If it is not looking good, what you can do is you can change the internal color of it. Or maybe change the label color for now. Okay, now it is looking good, I believe. Attachment we don't need at the moment. We'll change it. So if you see over here, if I play the app, there is no item to display. Why? Because the default property of any form is edit form. But what we need is it needs to be in the new mode. Now, if you see, this is available. But what if you need courses or training date before the courses? How you can achieve that? What you have to do, you have to select your form, go to edit fields. You see it over here. Just keep it and move it above. Now, if you see, you have training date 
before courses. Similarly, if you need company name right after the title, you can do that as well. So this is how you can manage your columns in your edit form. In case if you don't need three uh, columns in it, what you have to do is you have to uh, check this column settings over here and make changes in that. So if, it is, if this is looking good, you can continue with that. So what I need now is I need a vertical gallery. I'll try to add a gallery and point out to my data source, which is share from site list and keep it over here. So now what you can see is one record which is available title first name last name but what if you would like to show courses as well within the list what you have to do is copy and paste it within that particular record remember the column name that is courses go to text property of it courses dot value that is shape now if you see there is a bit of margin which is if you can see between this james and sharepoint so what you have to do is you have to check x and y properties of it that is 16884 and if you select this you can see that is 80 what i'll do is i'll make it the y prop position is 84 so now if you see these both are aligned in in case if you need the date as well what you have to do is copy and paste it again within that context now what you have to do is just change the value of it check the name of the course training date i'll make it as training date now the date is also available so what we need to do is now we would like to allow a user to create, update, delete the records. For that, what I need is, first of all, I'll add a button control. I'll name it as new. Okay, let's forget about the button control first. That I will try to do something interesting over here. That's a button. I'll delete it. I'll add an icon. Add icon. I'll keep it over here. I'll change color of it so that it is visible. So now, whenever I click on this, a new form should open, and I should be able uh, to create a record. So what I have to write over here, here is new form form name. My form name, you can go to this and select it from here. FRM registration, that's my form name. FRM registration, you can find it over here. Okay, so now even if I now change the mode property to edit or view anything, so even if it is not displayed, if I click over here, the new form will open for me automatically. What I need to do next is I should be able to save my data as well. What I'll do is I'll copy this and paste it again. I'll keep it over here. And now if you see, we have this check batch available. I'll just change it and I'll also change my formula from new form to submit form. Form registration, back it close. So now if I try to save my form, I'll get an error that this title is required. Why? Because the title column is a required column by default. But what if you don't need it to be a required column? What you have to do is you go to your shape on site list, go to settings, click on list settings. Over here, you see that is a required column. What you have to do is click on this required that this column contains an information set it to no and press ok now go back to your app go to your data source and refresh you would notice in some time whenever it is refreshed properly this star icon will be invisible it might take a minute or two let's run it again 
no it is not gone yet but this is how you can achieve it okay i will try to create another now i will make it as mr the company name i will keep it as abc first name i will keep it as jeff and i like that's my former company's manager's name i'll keep it as 11 courses i'll click as power apps now if i would like to save it if you see over here jeff's entries has been created in the data source as well refresh it you see jeff entry is also created in the sharepoint list and you can see it over here but now if you see i would like to see the data which i'm selecting in this gallery over here how do i do it on the click of this particular gallery control what i need to do is make this form as a view form that's my first task. So I'll select this gallery. I'll go to the on select property of it and write this code. View form. FRM registration bracket close. Okay. And if I go to this form and go to the item property of it, what I have to do is I have to name the gallery. So I'll change the name of the gallery, gallery registration. Okay, so I'll name it as gallery registration dot selected. Why? Whatever record I'm selecting, whichever record I'm selecting within this gallery should be visible in my form. Let's see if we are able to do it or not. You see it over here? First, what I'm trying to do is whenever someone clicks on this gallery, this form should become a view form and then on the item property of it what i have done is i have given gallery one dot selected or whatever the name of the gallery dot selected if i select gems records i'll be able to fetch or see the gems record let's say if i click on the new icon again i'll have a new form available with me what i do do this time company name a a a that's any could be any company. I'm assuming it. First name, I'll name it myself. Farhan Khan. Training date, take it as 17th. Course, I'll take it as SharePoint. Trial tenant available, I'll take it as yes. And I'll save it. So now if you see, I have three records. But what I need is whenever I click on this, this data should be visible. So I'll click. And this now if you see my form is automatically becoming a view form but there is a chance that you may want to edit or delete your item how do you do it for that what you have to do is select copy paste again over here edit form your form name bracket close and change the icon to edit play the app click on this now if you see over here let's say i would like to change my name from farhan khan to my brother's name which is azhar and save it you see this entry has been updated as azhar and if i click over here i'll see my form in the new form we have seen how we create an app, how we can save uh, that data into a SharePoint. Now we would like to see how we can delete it. So what I'll do is I'll select this gallery, the first record of it. I'll try to insert another icon. Let's select it by name, trash. So whenever I add anything, could be anything in the first record. It automatically gets added to the, all the records which are available in the gallery. So I'll select this icon. 
remove this and I'll write a function called remove. Now what I need to do is provide the data source name. The data source name is training registration. Training registration dot this item. I can close. Creation, comma, this item. My bad. Okay, I'll play it again. Now, if you see, if I try to delete this, this record is no longer available. But when I click on Jeff, I can see this <coughs> forms in the view form. But whenever the data is getting deleted or whenever the data is getting saved, I'm not seeing any notification over here. So what I have to do is I need to put a notification as well. So whenever someone clicks on this item, what I have to do is I write, need to write a function called notify in the bracket, double quote, record, deleted, comma, notification type. So that's an information, keep it as information. We'll try to play the app again. Now, if I would like to delete a Jeff's record, you see record deleted. Now we have only others record available in this. So let's say if I'm creating another record, this time I'll name it as this. The company name should be BBB and name. And person's name should be, it could be Sajid. And training date, let's see this. Automate, available, save. So you see, oh my bad, that's Miss Sajid. I would <laughs> like to, you know, just make changes in this. Create it, and make it Mr. so that he doesn't feel offended. So now you see over here, we have record of Sajid as well. But whenever I saved my data, I didn't see that option or a notification that the data has been saved. So what I can do is, I can write that code over here also or what I can do is I can go to the on success property of this form and notify data saved. So now if I play the app, go to the new icon and create another record named as I'll name it as RRR company is RAM I'll take it 20 as a date courses will be power automate and available yes now if you see whenever I click on this data saved that's an information why because I have only given the notification but I have not defined the notification type so if I make it as comma notification type success you will see it in the success format i hope you like the video and thanks for your time and have a nice day thank you everyone